and underneath that, a covenant of his name. Amen? Are you with me? Amen. Subtitle, Declare his glory. Everyone say, Declare his glory. Declare his glory. Declare his glory. Declare his glory. The Heavenly Father has blessed you because he wants you to be a sign for somebody else. Amen. He wants you to be a sign that he exists. He wants you to be a sign that he answers prayer. Amen. He wants you to be a sign of his greatness, of his love. Come on, saints, in the name of Yahshua. I want you, I want you to feel the power. I have an expectation. Amen. Oh my goodness. I didn't sleep last night. <laughs> I mean, I, I Holly, you know. Uh, since we started fasting for Dr. Apostle Chris. We've been fasting in the name of Yahshua. And corporately, we have not received one no in all the laws. Amen. I always say this, ever since I learned this from Reverend Jimmy Swaggers when I was a teenager, he said, when the Heavenly Father answers prayer, that's when you ask for more. That's right, that's right. Because you have a testimony that you are in His presence. Amen. Amen. Corporately, we have answered prayer. And having answered prayer, you're supposed to ask for more. Amen? Amen? Because He's given you a covenant of glory. He's given you an agreement of glory. He's given you a covenant of wondrous works. He's given you a covenant of His name. He's given you a declaration, declare His glory. Because as you declare His glory in the name of Yahshua, and show forth His love and grace, Amen. You show forth the power and the might of Yah. Come on, saints. I, I, I feel the anointing. We were in uh, Kenya. Uh, Pastor Jones, we now have like 90 churches in Kenya. Amen. Amen. And three in South Africa. Amen. Amen. And the first time we went to Kenya, Halia, was, uh, was it February? Was it February? February of this year. Then we went back in May and June. But there's a love for the word, but there's a time in Christ. Listen, I was meditating on this. Religious people always believe there has to be a season for truth. <laughs> Religious people believe you can't give people too much truth or they're going to choke and die. Right. So the word says, and you shall know the truth and the truth will make you free. That's right. Amen. But a lot of religious people, they believe that if you give people truth, how they have their old deal on it. I can't find one scripture that you can have too much of Christ. That's right. Or you can have too much of truth. Amen. I need you with me for a moment. Hallelujah. Because the Heavenly Father, He's declaring His greatness to us. And He's declaring His might. Amen. Father, I magnify you. Let us turn verse 3 to Yeshua, Isaiah 58, 6. I'm going to come back to Chronicles. 58, 6. Uh, let us get ready to receive the tithe and the offering. Also, Amen. Hallelujah. I need you with me. Amen. Today is your day for a great miracle. Amen. Amen. If you believe in Yahweh for a mate, confess your mate to Amen. If you believe in pray for us, Pastor Jones. Me and my wife are going at it one more time. Go off that board. Amen. I got faith, y'all. Amen. I'm, you know, I'm Abraham. Amen. And then, hey, hallelujah. You know, you got to have faith, y'all. Some of y'all, y'all doubt me all right? Hallelujah. 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 You know? Isaiah, yes, y'all, 58. Oh, my goodness. I have an expectation. I need y'all with me. Uh, pray for me because I have a lot of scripture. Amen. Full support. 58, 6. I'm going to read from the King James Version Bible. Hallelujah. When you walk in obedience, remember, the highest form of spiritual warfare is obedience. As long as you walk in obedience, you can care less what the devil is planning or what he's thinking about doing. Because obedience is a knockout. Amen? Obedience is a knockout blessing. Amen. It's 58 verse 6 says, Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness? You see, the fast that Yahweh chooses, it looses something. 
Amen. You see, Satan's trying to hold back your testimony. All right, boy. Satan's trying to hold back your promise. Amen. But we have to understand, Holly, if the Bible teaches us that Christ said, Holly, if the reason that we fast is to increase our faith. Amen. Because when his disciples came to Christ, they said, how come we could not cast out the devil? He said, Holly, you got to fast and pray. Amen. I mean, it was fast and prayer. But before he said that, he rebuked him and said, oh, you a little faith. Yes. So fasting increases faith. Amen. Amen. I need you with me in the name of Yahshua. Amen. Amen. Fast increases faith. But when the fast is ordained by Yahweh, it looses things in your life. Amen. Amen. It looses his blessing. Amen. It looses his might. We learned the same thing about Daniel. When Daniel was fasting, amen. When he was fasting, the answer, the answer came. Amen. Even though he said that the prince of Persia was trying to hold me back 21 days. But the first time you prayed, it was loosed unto you. I need you with me, saints. Hallelujah. You see, I pray with a purpose. I fast with a purpose in the name of Yahshua. I expect with a purpose uh, because I understand the name of Yahshua. He's the one who gave me my heart's desire because he's given me a covenant of glory, though I did not deserve it. He called me a joint heir with Christ. Christ translates in the English is anointed. He called me a joint heir in the anointed. Amen. 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 He called me a joint heir in the anointed. Amen. A covenant of wondrous works. So uh, the Bible says, and these signs shall follow those who believe. You see, when you're a believer, signs follow you. Amen. So even if people follow signs, they'll follow you. Amen. Because people need to follow your blessing. Amen. And your blessing is in bonus. Amen. Uh-oh. 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 Show enough. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh
position. I mean, I got to be diligent because I know He is faithful who promised. Amen. I mean, and He who promised will also do. Yeah. I mean, so if Yahweh is telling me to fast in His fast, He's telling me to fast in His fast for yeah. His purpose, for His end. Amen. Oh my goodness, I need you with me, I mean. Once again, hello, we got to hurry up because we got somewhere to go. In the name of Yahshua, Father, you are worthy to be thanked and praised. Amen. Is this not the fast that I have chosen? The fast that Yahweh chooses? One, it looses the bands of wickedness. Two, it undoes the heavy burdens. Three, it lets the press go free. Four, it breaks every yoke. Now you got to tie that into the scripture that also says, Hallelujah, the anointing breaks the yoke. So we got to also recognize that fasting ushers in a new anointing. Oh, come on, I need you with me. I'm here for those of us who know our Bibles in the name of Yeshua. We know in Matthew chapter 4 and we know in Luke chapter 4, Christ went into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Yeah. But we also understand how that when he was tempted of the devil, he was fasting 40 days and 40 nights. Yeah. But after that fast, his ministry began. Yeah. I need you with me in the name of Yeshua. After that fast, how the miracles began. After that fast, the wonders began in the name of Yeshua. Understand that the fast of Yahweh is losing something into your life. Whatever Yahweh loses into your life in the name of Yeshua, you got to declare his glory. I mean, you got to declare his covenant. You got to declare the covenant of his glory. You got to declare the covenant of his word and his work. And the greatest work is your salvation. The greatest work is how he changed you. The greatest work is how he made you made, how he made you new. And in making you new, Hallelujah, you walk in that power, you walk in that might. Father, you are worthy to be thanked and praised in the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. You're with me, Saints, 1 Chronicles 16, 24. Father, you are worthy. Hallelujah. Now, now, Yahweh, he called us to go to South Africa. Amen. I mean, we just had our 15th year anniversary in South Africa. And we took 38 souls, 38 Americans. Americans Amen. in South Africa Amen. to see what faith built in 2001. Amen. In the name of Yahshua. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you with me, saints? And afterwards, of course, we went to Kenya in the name of Yahshua. But Yahweh promised to bless us. Amen. The same way Yahweh blessed us with these six figure jobs is the same way Yahweh says we're going to use us to change the music industry. Amen. You know, I need you to listen for a moment. If you're waiting for Christ to bless you, before you declare what he does, you're a faith. Because he already did something for you. Amen. Right. Amen. For some reason, some of us, we want something bigger to happen in our life. Hallelujah. Before we go out and we boast from the coming of the Lord. The biggest thing that ever happened to you, the biggest thing that will ever happen to you is you getting saved. Amen. Oh, some of y'all got quiet. The biggest thing that happened to you and the biggest thing that will ever happen to you is you getting saved in the name of Yahshua. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you're not declaring his glory now, what makes you think you're going to declare it later? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. First Chronicles 16, 24. Father, you are worthy in the name of Yahshua. Read as follows. Declare his glory amongst the heathen, his marvelous works among all nations. How do you declare his glory unless, Hallelujah, so let your light shine before men? Amen, so they can see your good works, Father, I magnify you. Listen, saints, in the name of Yahshua, we're confessing to usher in great and mighty change into the world in the name of Yahshua. Amen. I believe everything was created and was created for his glory in the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. And in this, His name will be magnified and glorified. Amen. The Heavenly Father, He wants you to declare His glory because in you declaring His glory and you showing forth His wondrous works, how are you going to win somebody on the sidelines? Amen. Amen. But somebody is a spectator of your life. Somebody is looking in on your life in the name of Yahshua. And as they look in on your life, how are you going to show forth His glory Mike? Once again, it says, declare His glory amongst the heathen. Amen. Hallelujah. Heathen is actually the Gentile. Amen. Hallelujah. Right here, the Hebrew word is goi. Goi. G O W I. It means nation. It means people. It means non Hebrew people. Amen. You with me, saints? Amen. Hallelujah. In other words, Hallelujah, the Heavenly Father is saying, I just don't want you talking to your neighbor. <laughs> I want you reaching the whole nation. Nations. That's worldwide. So the Heavenly Father is calling you to have a worldwide blessing. Oh, some of you not with me. I mean, I need you to hold on with me. I mean, another word for anointing is fame. Okay, you're not with me. Another word for fame is influence. The greater the fame, the greater the influence. Amen. I the greater the fame, the more souls you can touch. Okay, some of you don't want to talk about it. 
But we got people who say, hey, what would Christ do? You want to be like Christ. You better understand he was famous. That's right. You better understand that Christ was famous. Amen. Christ was known in his day. Moshe was known in his day. Abraham was known in his day. Amen. Yitzhak was known in his day. Amen. Yahushua was known in his day. Amen. You were called to be known in your day. David was promised. Hallelujah. Yahweh says, I will make your name great amongst the nations. Amen. Your name becomes great when you recognize you are part of, of the covenant of glory. Your name becomes great when you recognize in the name of Yahshua that people testify of Yahweh's wondrous works is people testify to how he saved you. How he delivered you. How he set you free. Amen. Amen. You with me, saints? Hallelujah. Now declare. Declare is Safar. Safar. C-A-P-H-A-R. Safar. Safar means to count. It means to relate. It means to number. It means to declare something. It means to rehearse something. Amen. Hallelujah. You with me, saints? Hallelujah. I always rehearse my blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says you shall have whatever he says in the name of Yahshua. You'll have whatever you say. So I'm, re I'm rehearsing my blessing. But the word says, declare, rehearse. Rehearse his glory. Amen. I mean, glory is kabod. Kabod. K-O-B-O-W-D. Kabod. K-A-B-O-W-D. Kabod. Kabod means glory, honor, glorious, abundance, riches. Hallelujah. I want to say it at the end. Once again, in the name of Yahshua, don't wait until you go walk in New Jerusalem, hallelujah, recognizing that your daddy's rich. Okay? Hallelujah. Sometimes I get too quiet. Hallelujah. But the thing is, in the name of Yahshua, I'm always saying, Minister Ron, Yahweh, give me something to declare. Yes. You know, I said last Hallelujah. month, I mean, we came up $4,000 short, right? In the name of Yahshua. I got two checks today. Amen. I'm going to brag on my Yahweh. It says, declare, right? Amen. Amen. Kabod, glory, honor, abundance, riches. Amen. Holly, I, 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 we got a check from South Orange Village City. I mean, not too many churches get invited. To jam for a whole city. Last time I checked, they got Jews, Jews, white, black, black, black. But when the world is willing to give you money, when the world is willing to give you money for your gift, when my Bible says, and his gift will make room for you. Christ 
in the name of Yahshua. Because when you declare, I need you, when you declare, come on, Pastor Jones, I want, come on, pray for this brother. We're going to lay hands on him. Come on, right now. Hallelujah. We confess his new house. Yes. Amen. We confess his new house. We confess the Yahshua increases a hundredfold. We confess in the name of Yahshua. Are you with me? Say something. Say something. Maybe y'all didn't listen to me in the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. Pastor Jones, this is how I am. Hallelujah. Man, I confess this is the first. Come on. Come on. Five thousand. Amen. They gave my grandfather an ultimatum. They told my grandfather he could no longer teach the name Yahweh Yahshua. Amen. Hallelujah. So my grandfather left Refuge Temple in 69. Amen. I need you with me in the nation. Amen. Sunday, October the 18th, we're going to be ministering in Richmond and Refuge Temple. Amen. Amen. Up. You see, every time we declare his wondrous works, he does something great, yes. something mighty, Hallelujah. something outstanding. That's something you've got to recognize regardless of where you are, Christ can heal you. Regardless of where you are, he can deliver you and set you free. I mean, you know, the Bible says how they, they prayed over handkerchiefs. Yes. Y'all ain't with me. Yes. Uh, okay, I don't hurt nobody's feelings. Some of us, we've been here for years. You ain't never get this. <laughs> but this is somebody who can fill the noise. He, 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 he ministered. He told me about Minister Lawan, Pastor Kelvin. I mean, come on, we want the hands on this. I mean, hallelujah. You ready? Oh, that's our thought. We'll lay hands on that too. Father, right now, you had Apostle Paul lay hands on handkerchiefs. Father, right now, we say, as the God of God, in the name of Christ Yahshua, how you're bringing great increase in each and every person who has decided to sow unto you, to bless your house. Father, right now, we lose a great mighty blessing out of us over our brother's family, Father. Yah. We call his children serving you. We call his grandchildren serving you. Father, right now, we call the windows of heaven being open for a wondrous work. Father, we call him Goli in the Bible ministry. I pray your word. We call him declaring your wondrous work. In Christ Yahshua's name, amen, amen, amen. Oh, we'll see you Come on, say, come on, look at look at Hallelujah. That's, you know, I don't hold back in the name of Yahshua. That's the cut of a Hallelujah. Let me speed up here. In the name of Yahshua. You with me, saints? Amen. My goodness. You with me? Once again, it says, Declare His glory amongst the heathen. Hallelujah. His marvelous works among all nations. Amen. Marvelous works is the Hebrew word 
Pala. Pala. P A L A. It means to be marvelous. It means to be wonderful. Listen, it means to be surpassing. Oh, I need you with me today. I should adopt Apostle Chris. Holly, in her new job, she's going to be surpassing. Oh, we'll see that over there. Minister Liz, surpassing. I mean, Holly, it's an Egypt. I don't care who you are, you come to this church, you cover. That's my job. My job, how if you come to this church on a regular basis, my job is to get you out of bondage. My job is not to ask you how you got in there because I'm reminded that grace saved me. Grace saved me. I mean, I am where I am today because somebody prayed for me in the name of Yahshua. It's my job in the name of Yahshua. There shall no evil befall the just in the name of Yahshua. As we stand in the gap, is that high priest anointed. I need you with me for a moment. Yes. So many people allow their hurts and their pains to take them out of the circumference of Christ. Hallelujah. Let me say it again. So many people allow their hurts and pains to take them out of the circle of Christ. This is the circle of Christ. You see, Satan is trying to get you out of, out of the force field. Satan is trying to get you out of protection. Right. Satan needs you to get needs you to get out Hallelujah, by trying to give you a bad report. Yeah. But what you were called to do, you were called to declare his glory amongst the nations. In his marvelous works, amen, Pala, it means to be marvelous, to be wonderful, to be surpassing. I mean, write this. It means to be extraordinary. Lord, I will see the Father, your words. Amen. Holly, we're just going to read two more scriptures here. You with me? 25 says, you with me? Amen. For great is Yahweh and greatly to be praised. That's right. Yes. He is also to be feared above all else. I would be saints. I, for all Elohim of the people are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. Amen. Amen. Yahweh's going to give you something to boast on. Yahweh's going to give you something, hallelujah, to talk about his goodness, to talk about his love. I mean, to talk about, hallelujah, what he has done in the name of Yahshua. Are you with me, saints? Hallelujah. Because in so doing in the name of Yahshua, hallelujah, we bring glory and we bring honor to his name. Let us turn to, to Hillel, Psalms 118. Psalms 118. Father, your word. I thank and praise Yahweh that my mother's here. Amen. Amen. I love my mother. Amen. Amen. Oh, you're a good looking woman. Amen. In the name of Yahshua. My mother will be 77. Amen. And her twin sisters will be 78. October the second. Amen. Hallelujah. I, you know what? Look. Saints, now. Oh, uh, we got Dr. Paul's Chris. Her job? We're looking for a husband. Yes. Amen. 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 All y'all be able to look at. Amen. Amen. Y'all be tough, let's do it. Yes. Amen. 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 Y'all, come on. I always say it like this, Ms. Lola. I can keep my ministry together. That's right. <laughs> I keep my ministry together. I mean, in other words, the blessings have to flow. Yeah. I mean, right. but it's easy for the blessings to flow when you are declaring. Holly, his goodness, when you're declaring his life. Hold on a minute. I'm, I'm, I just want y'all to hold on for a little bit in the name of Yahshua because we're going to get into the text in the name of Yahshua. But I want you uh, to, to Hillel 118, Psalms 118. Father, I magnify you, magnify your name. I glorify your name. He's the good of it. I mean, everybody, you know, I want to say this. I got to say it. You know, it shows you the hypocrisy of America. How they, they were talking about how evangelicals are going crazy over Donald Trump. Y'all got quiet. <laughs> They're talking about how evangelicals are going crazy over Donald Trump. And Donald Trump wants to get rid of all the immigrants, though his mother is an immigrant. Right. 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 Two of his wives are immigrants. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning that his babies are anchor babies. babies. <laughs> Same thing he's talking about. Uh, come on, come on now. Some, some but the man, huh, he was on TV and he said, not one time in his life has he ever asked Yahweh for forgiveness. Oh, and these same Christians are calling President Obama Muslim. Y'all getting quiet on me. I mean, the hypocrisy. I mean, the hypocrisy. I mean, but another thing for those of us like to study, his last name is not even Trump. That's right. They anglicize his name. That's right. They anglicize his name because his grandparents, who were from Germany, uh, they used to rent to Jews. And they thought the Jews would find their last name offensive, so they changed their last That's name. Right. Wow. They anglicized their name. 
I mean, so whenever you change your name, you change your name to conform to a culture. Yeah, yeah. You change your name, Holly, because you want to be accepted by that culture. I need somebody to show me a scripture. When did Christ change his culture and change his name? When did Christ try to get rid of his Jewishness and try to become more English? When did Christ how it let go of being a Hebrew because he wanted to be more European like? I mean, and Christ would walk on the face of earth today, he would rip that pitch up and call it demonic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be like, who gave me a perm? <laughs> you see, when I go truth, I go all truth in the name of Yahshua. I mean, in the name of Yahshua. You know how to put our ministry? I mean, if you go our ministry, we will snatch the spine right out of you. You'll be spying. I mean, because we want you to stand by faith and faith alone. I mean, the Bible says, no, no man has a place. I mean, hallelujah. No, no man has a place. I want to know you in the spirit. I mean, I want to know what Yahweh said about you in the name of Yahshua. I mean, woo! I mean, we body snatchers. That's right. Y'all uh, yeah, with me to Hill 118. Come on, we're about to go in. Hallelujah. We're about to go in. Say, so we're about to go in. We're about to go in. Hold on, we'll see. Uh, you know, Holly, this, this is another faith statement. We're going to take a group to Richmond, and a group going to be here. I mean, Holly, the same way we did in South Orange last Shabbat. In the name of Yahshua. Amen. To Hillel, Amen. 11823. Father, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. Amen. It reads, This is Yahweh's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Amen. Verse 24. This is the day which Yahweh has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 25. Say now. I beseech thee, O Yahweh. O Yahweh, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Mm. See, some of us, we don't know how to pray. Yahweh, send your prosperity so I can declare the covenant of your, your glory. Send your prosperity so I declare of the covenant of your wondrous work. Send your prosperity so I can declare the covenant, hallelujah, of your name. I mean, because I want to declare your glory. And in declaring your glory in the name of Yahshua, we declare your might and we declare your greatness. Let us turn to Hebrews chapter 8. Right on the board. A better covenant with better promises. Hallelujah. Yeah, go on, be led. Yeah, race off. Amen. I need y'all with me in the name of Yahshua. Peace and follow your word. You're worthy to be thanked, you're worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we have a speed up. We're going to speed up because we only got like 10 more minutes. Hebrews chapter 8. Father, I magnify you. I glorify you. Amen. Hallelujah. We were called to declare his works in the name of Yahshua. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I am so happy that death doesn't have the power Come on. to take me. Amen. Amen. When you get caught up in your calling, when you get caught up in what Christ called you to do, you can't leave the earth until you say it's finished. Right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and ordained you. So you got to fulfill what he ordained you to do. Amen. Amen. The Heavenly Father ordained you to do something. Satan doesn't have the power, the right, or the authority, hallelujah, to take your life. Amen. You got to understand, amen. Hallelujah. When we read the book of Job, it teaches us, hallelujah, that Satan didn't have permission over the righteous. He had to get permission. Amen. He had to get permission. Amen. I need you with me for a moment. So we have to understand in the name of Yahshua that when we walk in this covenant of glory, uh, when we walk in his power, when we walk in his might, we're declaring, hallelujah, the great things, hallelujah, that he's put in before us, before the very world began. I mean, Hebrews chapter 8. Father, you are worthy. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you, praise you. Peace and glory. <laughs> Hebrews 8. I'm going to read it first in the King James Version Bible. I need y'all with me. Hallelujah. I was meditating. You know, the Bible, for those who like to study, Christ didn't begin his ministry until he was 30. Amen. And he died when he was 33. Amen. In the name of Yahshua. Amen. Every major thing that happened in Christ's life happened on a Jewish holiday. His birth was on a Jewish holiday. His death was on a Jewish holiday. Amen. Every major thing that happened, his baptism was on a Jewish holiday. Every major thing that took place, hallelujah, because he represents the Jewish calendar. Amen. Hold on a minute. In the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. I'm going to read very speedily. 
I'm in until I get to verse 6. I'm going to with verse 1. I need y'all with Now the things we have spoken, I'm speaking uh, from the King James Version Bible. Now the things we have spoken, this is the subject. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of majesty in heaven. Verse 2. A minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which Yahweh pitched and not made. For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. Are you with me? Men, you need to be a high priest in your home. A man, a home that's led by a single parent, you've got to be the priest of the home. And what does the priest of the home do? For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices, whereof it is of necessity that this man, this person, have someone also to offer. Mm, some of you not with me. For if we were on earth, hallelujah, for if he were on earth, he should not be a priest, seeing that there are priests that offer up gifts according to the Torah. Let's get some quiet over there with the kids. Who serve unto the, uh, the example of the shadow of heavenly things, as Moshe was admonished of Elohim when he was about to make the tabernacle, for he says, See, hallelujah, that you make it according to the pattern that I showed you in the map. Amen? So that there is a pattern the way things are supposed to be done. Come on, saints, I'm reading from the New Testament. Amen. And there's a pattern. Amen? There's a pattern that Yahweh says, if you magnify my name, if you glorify my name, if you brag and boast on what I do, I'll do more for you. Amen? Amen. If you brag on my name, if you boast on my name, if you boast on how you receive answered prayer, I will do greater for you. Amen. I need you with me in the name of Yahshua. Thank you, Pastor Princess. Pastor Princess, say no joke in the name of Yahshua. You with me? Amen. I think that's amazing when you have a pastor up front, how they go and take care of you. That's awesome. Awesome. Amen. I need you with me. Y'all with me? Once again, I want to read it to you again. Okay, we don't have time to go. Who serve unto an example of a shadow of heavenly things, as Moshe was admonished of Elohim, when he's about to make the tabernacle for us, says, See, how they Make it according to the pattern that I showed you in the mountain. I mean, you see, Yahweh always has you doing something, hallelujah, openly that he showed you privately. Once again, he has you walking in something publicly that he showed you privately. Amen. 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 So each and every one of you, you should have a private testimony, hallelujah, of what he publicly is going to do with you. Amen. 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 So what you have to do, you have to line up your private with your public. Yes. Amen. I got some of y'all not with me in the name of Yahshua. But the thing is that Christ will have you declare it before it even takes place. Amen. Because now, as he has you declare it, the only people that understand it are the people who have faith. Because the Bible says, faith comes by hearing, and hearing his word. Amen. Once again, Hebrews 11, 3 says, through faith we understand that the world will frame by the word of Elohim. Amen. I mean, you see, the Bible says it's impossible for his word to go out of his mouth and to return it to the Lord. So there's something that I'm expecting. I need to hold on. I'm expecting to receive what I'm declaring. Amen. I mean, when he says, declare my glory in the name of Yahshua, I, the Bible says, what we shall be, we, we know not yet. But when we see him as he is, we shall be. I Amen. Mean, yes. So what we know in Christ, things are always getting better. Amen. Amen. In Christ, you go from faith to faith and glory to glory. But he will have you declare something on earth that you saw in the spirit. He will have you declare something in earth that you saw in heaven. He will have you declare something in earth because there's coming a time when heaven and earth will be one. Amen. Oh, some of you me. Hold on. You represent heaven and earth right now. You represent heaven and earth because Christ is at the right hand. Amen. And you Holly are on the earth. And you are the temple of the Ruach HaKadosh. Yes. And be in that temple. I'm looking, Father. Holly, some of you can't have this. Father, bless me with the Son. Amen. Amen. So all the naysayers. Amen. Amen. All the people who thought it couldn't happen. You know, let me tell you what's so deep. And this is what my faith is, Pastor Jones. Me and my wife are not even trying to have a child right now. Huh? You listen to me? For you don't know what that means? We use the protection. But I want you to understand, listen. I mean, you know, I just turned 49, June 25th. I mean, but I ain't running around like I'm too old. My wife just turned 39. I mean, we not running around and she's too old. No, I'm living according to a word. Amen. And I understand the patience I have in the world. It ain't like I say, I got to have a boy and we got to do it right now. No, I'm going to use some wisdom. I ain't got no medical coverage. Holy, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm keeping it real with you. I ain't got no medical coverage. I'm in. I'm going to wait till I get some medical coverage. 
in the name of Come on now. A kid, having kids is expensive. Yep. You don't know. A kid is a call. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Come, come on, say that. I, I believe one. But I want you to understand my faith. Come on, I want to say it again. Hallelujah. I'm confessing Yahweh to bless me with a son, and I'm not even trying to have a son right now. That's right. Yeah. It's not like, oh, oh I gotta hurry up and make this glory happen. No. It's a reality because I'm going to keep on declaring it. People say, what if it don't happen? Oh, oh, guess what? That ain't on me. You see, it's not on me if it don't happen. It's on me to believe. Amen. Yes. It's on me to believe with all my heart, all my mind, all my might, and all that is within me. Amen. I'm sold out in declaring his victory. I'm sold out in declaring his glory. I'm sold out in this covenant because he was sold out for me. When he died for me, yes. when he rose for me, I'm unstoppable in the name of God. Y'all don't know. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got something running through my blood in the name yes. of God. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You don't know. Oh, baby, it feels good. Ain't no blue magic. Oh, my. Ain't no white bean. I mean, this right here is the blood. The blood of fight flowing through me. And yeah, I'm pumped. Yeah. Because I'm a living testimony yeah. in the name of Yahshua. Amen. I'm I'm going to keep on declaring because Amen. the covenant has proven true. Amen. Oh, almost not. Man, I got to get to the best part. Amen. You with me, saints? Hallelujah. Father, I thank you and praise you. And then, yes, so listen to this. I'm going to skip down here. Verse 6. But now <laughs> have he obtained a more excellent ministry. Please run on the board with more excellent ministry. But by how much also he is a mediator of a better covenant. Please write better cover. How can you get that? Woo! Somebody ain't catch that. How can Yahweh get that? Woo! I mean, he, no, y'all not with me. I mean, the Bible teaches of two covenants. I mean, but here it says in the name of Yahshua, how he's a mediator of a better covenant. Y'all not with me in the name of Yahshua. If you heard of all the miracles and wonders that happened in the first covenant, how all the prophets were in the first covenant. All the miracles before Christ was in the first covenant. I mean, but we 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 have a new covenant. I mean, that is based on better promises. What? Did you hear that? Based on better promises. I got better grace. I got better mercy. I Yahweh, 
when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel yes. and with the house of Yehudah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Because they continue not in my covenant right. and regarded them not, said Yahweh. Uh, for this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said Yahweh. I will put my laws into their mind. Yes. I will write them in their hearts. And I will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. That's a fulfillment. He's no longer writing on tablets of stone. Hallelujah. As Apostle Paul says, we become epistles, living epistles, in the name of Yahshua, of his glory and his might. Let us turn to Jeremiah, chapter 31. Y'all with me? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to do this the right way. Amen. Father, you are worthy. You're worthy to be thanked and praised. Amen. Everybody say, everybody say better promises. Better promises. Amen. I tell us all the time, Pastor Jones, I'm tired of people looking up for their generational curses when you've been promised generational blessings. That's right. The blessings of Abraham. Uh, you've been promised generational blessings. Amen. In the name of Joshua. Amen. What good is it being saved? Hallelujah. You can't break the curse. Some of you can't even handle this. The Bible says bitter and sweet water can't come from the same well. That's you right. can't even say, talk about you got some generational curse on you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when you got saved, I mean, you, you yeah. you know, I mean, you jumped shit. I mean, you joined a whole new family in the name of Yahshua. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I need you with me in the name of Yahshua. Father, you are worthy, 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 you are worthy. I mean, I'm about to let you go. Oh, my goodness, it's getting late. But I want you to understand, Hallelujah, when I declare His glory, I'm declaring His glory. Based on I understand that I'm walking in a prophecy. And the prophecy I'm walking in a new covenant. Every covenant came about by the shedding of blood. Amen. Amen. Hear me Jeremiah 31, 31. We read it in the New Testament. Now we're going to read where it's from. Hallelujah, you're worthy, Father. I have an expectation. You know, my pastor Jones, I want you praying for my kids. I confess them to musicians. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, my kids gonna make hits. I'm gonna be a spiritual Joe Jackson. <laughs> yes, sir. I got a vision. Amen. Come on, Minister One, your kids are Yes, sir. In the Amen. name of Yahshua. 3131 says, Behold, the days come. Come on, y'all with me. The days come, says Yahweh, I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. For those of you who love the Bible, who do you make a new covenant with? The house of Israel. Israel. I mean, so let's stop trying to get Jews to come to Christ. When we understand that we came to Jews. That's right. Man. Oh, man. oh my goodness. See, that's because the church is out of order. The church is out of order because the church is trying to get Jews to come to them. And we came to the Jew. Yeah. I mean, we were grafted into the Jew. Okay? Right, right. I mean, over some of y'all. Right. All right, too bad. Let me read the Bible again. Yes. I mean, <laughs> behold, the days come, says Yahweh. I will make a new covenant, not with England, not with Europe. Right. I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Yahudah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers, not with Europe, not with the Catholic Church, amen, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers, in the day I took them by the hand yes. to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they broke, although I was a husband unto them, says Yahweh. But this shall be the covenant I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says Yahweh, I will put my laws. And you see, every time you open your mouth, listen, can I read this for my goodness? We're going to I will put my laws. Are you with me, saints? Amen. Holly, if you're with me, say amen. Amen. If you're with me, say amen. 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 Say it one more time. Amen. I'm just trying to find my place, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they broke, although I was a husband of them, says Yahweh. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with them, with the house of Israel, not with the Gentiles. After those days, says Yahweh, I will put my law in their inward parts. I will write them in their hearts. I mean, I will be their Elohim, and they will be my people. Okay? You ready? Holly, this is all of your word. I mean, the Bible says, from the abundance of the, the mouth speaks. You, know, you see, the Bible didn't say that I was going to do something for him to put it there. Y'all know it. The Bible didn't say I was going to fast and pray 
and that through fasting and praying, he was going to put it there. I mean, the Bible says he was going to do it all by himself. That's right. Because he promised somebody something. We're going to understand that all, each and every one of us, we're saved because he promised somebody. That's right. Yeah, you're with me. Today. When you get caught up in a promise, you get caught up that he can't lie. You get caught up that he can't fail. I mean, I recognize the reason, the real reason I'm saved. Ooh, I don't know. I mean, because how it, somebody thought about me. Amen. I like what Pastor Kelvin said when he ministered. He said, the Bible says, once again, and hear me out one five. He says, be, be, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. I mean, so we, we knew him before we came to earth. And then we have to come into earth and get back. E.T. phone home. I mean, you got to phone home uh, and remember your assignment. I mean, not get caught up in all the things that's in the world. I mean, when you remember your assignment, you remember where you birthed from. You remember where you came from in the name of Yahshua. Are you with me, saints? But as I was meditating on this in the name of Yahshua, we have to understand that this covenant is a continuation, I mean, of Christ. Hallelujah. What he said. I mean, he said, take, eat. This is my body, which is the new covenant. Amen. Come on, y'all. You got to take it in? No. Okay, what well, words is it? Uh, whoa, whoa. Books. No pastors can answer. I mean, I mean, it's, well, it's in Corinthians because it tells us not to take it in vain. Uh, at this time, we're going to receive communion. I mean, let's pass out communion. Are you with me, saints? Hallelujah. I need you to listen. I mean, I need you to listen. I, I want you to understand. The Bible says every covenant comes through the shedding of blood. Amen. The first covenant was through the shedding of blood. Amen. Holly. Some of you are going to be able to I mean, what I love about the Heavenly Father is what he sows and what he leaves. What he took from Pharaoh, he took from himself. He took Pharaoh's firstborn son. <laughs> Yes. And he yes. gave his firstborn. Yes. 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 He took Pharaoh's firstborn son because he is a just man. What he did to Pharaoh, he did to himself. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. Whoa. Some of y'all ain't with me. Ooh, 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 ooh. You see, honey, it was the, that was the last miracle. The last miracle, Hallelujah. the See, we also we talk about. See, this, we we talk about the part that we like. Uh, the part that we like, Hallelujah, is the Passover. But what happened at Passover? I mean, the first one. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. When did Christ die? Mm, Passover. Mm. Uh, what? Christ died? Y'all don't remember? He died on Passover. I mean, because he was the Passover lamb. I mean, when did Pharaoh's son die? Uh, Passover. Ah! Oh, y'all ain't with me. What he said? If you put the blood on the door, I would pass by. Y'all ain't with me. It means that we pass. So the first covenant was by the shedding of blood. Amen. And the right. second covenant was by the shedding of blood. Amen. I mean, and I'm going to pray. I'm going to vote. I'm going to declare. Yes. Hold on. What that blood has done. Hold on, Father, you were worthy. Like, oh, my goodness. Come on, Samantha. In the name of Yahshua. Are you with me, saints? Hold on, Sita. Father, you were worthy. You're worthy to be thanked and praised. Hallelujah. Matthew 27. Hallelujah. Yes, he called him to My goodness, I'm, I'm just all excited today. Hallelujah. 26, 26. Matthew 26, 26. Come on up here, Elder Steve. Hallelujah. Oh, little sick. Hallelujah. Saints. We just don't do things in the body of Christ that do it. You with me? My goodness, y'all tight on the juice. You know a brother fasting? Oh, look at the elder Steve sharing, sharing some of his blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on, Lucy. You were worthy, Father. Hallelujah. Come on, saints. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Father, I magnify you. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. You know, when I, when I meditate how much he loves us, how much he, he, he loves us, 
In the name of Yahshua, here you read 1 Corinthians. Last Come on, saints, why are we taking communion? I'm taking communion because I want you uh, to recognize the covenant of the Lord. Yes, I want yes. you to recognize the covenant of wondrous works. There was wondrous works in the first covenant and wondrous works in the second covenant. Amen. Yes. Uh, uh, you with me, saints? Come on, saints, my mother is here. Amen. Uh, you know, um, I didn't sleep last night at all. Now, not one time. Not one time that I sleep. You know, my mother, you know, she... She, she hot tech, you know. She called me in the phone. She did another woman call me in the phone. <laughs> Come on over in here. Come on. I'm like, man, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah, that'd be Yahweh for me to be up at this time. You with me? Holly. You know, you know I, I love my mom, but sometimes, you know, she's like a space cadet. She's like, I want to put my feet on the floor. I said, your feet are already on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to put that in the bed? I'm thankful. You with me? I'm, I'm, I'm 50 and my mother's still alive. I'm 50 I'm and my father's still alive. Are you with me? I'm thankful in the name of Yahshua. Yes. But I recognize his way. His, his grace in the name of Yahshua. You with me? Yes. Hallelujah. This is good. Amen. First I'm going to read this and you read yours. Amen. Hallelujah. You with me, saints? Amen. Saints, this is, this is important. Look. Matthew 26. 26. Amen. First, Christ had his center middle. Amen. Verse 26 says, And as they were eating, Yahshua took the bread and he blessed it and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples and says, Take, eat this. This is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, Drink you all of it. Come on, Saint y'all remember? Yeah. When did Christ take the Passover? He had to take it a day ahead. Because yeah. he had to die. Right. Yeah. Woo! My goodness. Oh, God is so perfect in you. Hallelujah. You with me? I mean, verse 27. And he took the cup and he gave thanks. And he gave it to them and says, Drink you all of it. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remissions of sins. Amen. Are you with me, saints? Hallelujah. I'll see you break down the park. Hallelujah. And you actually carry out the communion. Amen. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, Verse 27, it says, So if anyone eats of this bread or drinks of this cup of the Adonai on the word Stop. If you declare his words with a double heart yes. or a double mind, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Yes. Amen? The Bible says he prepares a table yes. before me in the midst of my enemies. Yes. But in verse 20 it says, You can't eat off of Yahweh's table and the devil's table at the same time. Yes. Woo! Are you with me? Go on, go on, Elder. That is why you should examine yourself before eating the bread and drinking from the cup. Stop! Examine yourself! I mean, you know the easiest way to examine yourself in Christ is this way. If I confess my sins, He is faithful and just to forgive me of my sins and to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Yes. And the Bible says, how many times shall I forgive Him? As many as He asks. Seventy times seven? I mean, saints, you better learn how to take advantage Amen. of Amen. forgiveness. Amen. Some people feel like, well, I don't want to abuse it. How can you abuse something that's free? Right. <laughs> Amen? But Satan is the only one who doesn't want you to take advantage of forgiveness. I mean, because he can't get it. Woo, we got a song he can't sing. Redeemed. Yes. Redeemed by the blood. Yes. I mean, he can't sing that song in the name of God. Hold on, we'll see that. Come on, over. Mm. Verse 31. But if we examine ourselves, mm. we will not be examined by Elohim and judged in this way. Woo! Oh, he loves you so much. That's how cool Christ is. I'm going to give you the power to judge yourself. Mm. I'm going to give yourself some power to step on in faith and call you just. And the just shall live by faith. Amen. And faith, Holly, ushers in a righteousness. Because the Bible says, Abraham believed Yahweh. And because he believed him, just because he believed in Yahweh, called him righteous. Oh, my goodness. Can't get easier than that. Verse 32. But when we are judged and disciplined by the Adonai, we will not be condemned with the world. Special treatment. Amen. He said, even when I judge you, right. I'm not going to condemn you with the world. Right. 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 Whatever he judged you is called correction. 
That's Amen. Right. He yes. says, those whom I love, I correct. Amen. Yes. Because if I call you son, I must correct you. Oh, yes. you now. Yes. If you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much so your heavenly father? Now, I love my daughters, amen? And they lie to me all the time. But I'm not going to throw my kids in the hell for lying to me. I mean, you know, when you love your kids, you look for an excuse to forgive them. You look for an excuse to be nice to them. You're like, come on, come on, give me a reason to bless you. I tell my wife, hold on. I'm going to skip back up to verse 26. But every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Adonai's death until he comes again. Right. Now let's take him to the leaders. But this is what the Adonai himself said. And I pass it on to you just as I received it. On the night when he was betrayed, mm. Adonai Yahshua took up the loaf of bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Heavenly Father, we magnify, we glorify you for this bread. This bread, which represents the bread of life, which is Christ Yahshua. We magnify, we glorify you, Father, God, that in this appointed time, Father, you have brought us together to have communion with you. Father, God, as we eat this bread, Father, God, Father, we glorify and magnify the covenant which you have given us, Father, God. That glorious covenant, Father, God, which was given to us, that we may be a testimony in the earth. Father, we eat of this bread this night, Father God, together as a family, Father God, family of Christ, that Father God, we may magnify and glorify your testimony in the earth. Okay. Likewise, he took the cup, and he said, this cup is the new covenant between Yahweh and you, Sealed by the shedding of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. Father, we raise this cup. Father, we say that we are thankful for the blood which is shed for us. We say that this cup represents the blood of Christ, which is for the remission of our sins. We thank and we praise you, Father God, that this night we are forgiven of all sin and in all iniquity, Father God. And that, Father God, we are renewed, refreshed and saved by the blood of your Son. Father, we thank and we praise you, Father Yah, that, Father, we are able to do this together, Father Yah. That, Father Yah, this night, Father Yah, we are made new. Father Yah, we drink of this cup, Father Yah, part of thee, Father Yah, and with joy, in Yahshua's name. Take it. Come on, saints, put your hands up. Hallelujah. 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 Out. And as we testify of his goodness and his greatness. Amen. Hallelujah. Saints, meditate on the great work he already did. Yes. Yes. Amen. I was going to say, each and every one of us, we always have something to be thankful for. That's yes. right. That's right. It always matters from what perspective you're looking at yes. in the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to sow a seed. Amen. Let's receive the title of the along with the prayer request. Amen. In the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. Because Yahweh has called us a covenant of glory. A covenant of His wondrous works. A covenant of His name. Amen. To declare His glory. Amen. Come on, say, say in a prayer of the perfect state of mind. Um, I know that Yahweh had Pastor Jones here for a reason. Amen. In the name of Yahshua. Hallelujah. I am blessed to partake of the covenant with you. Amen. Hallelujah. We have a great joy. We have a great expectation. In the name of Yahshua. Of what Yahweh has promised. Of what Yahweh is doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, saints. Hallelujah. I am beyond blessed. Amen. Of what Yahweh has done. Of what Yahweh is doing. But it's time for us to look for greatness. Amen. To walk in the way. Amen. Uh, Eliah, come forward. Man, I want to call my prayer partners. Come on, uh, Pastor Jones. Let's do this. You are worthy, Father. Lift your hands. 
when I was fasting, I was praying, man, I'm telling you. It's incredible. I mean, you, you know when you're growing Christ because you know I don't deserve it. I don't deserve to be saved. I don't deserve it. Very thankful. Yahweh gave me a word. Yahweh said, He's going to give you a voice to keep you dream of. Yes. I'm in your voice. Yahweh says the singer that your mother dreamt of being. Yahweh says I'm giving you a love for music. Yahweh says you're just going to find yourself tapping your foot. You're going to find yourself getting a beat. You're going to find yourself having a hymn. You're going to find yourself having a chorus. But Yahweh says, I have done this in you. Yahweh says, Isikora, you are a great and a mighty man. Yahweh says, and it was not by your choosing. Yahweh says, it was by my grace. Yahweh says, son, though you may not understand, I've already designed you. I wrote your beginning. I wrote your middle. And I wrote your end. Yahweh says, though sometimes you felt that you missed out. Yahweh says, you missed out on nothing but what I intended for you. Yahweh says, this is your life. Embrace it. Because you are embracing greatness. You are embracing strength. You are embracing glory. And I'm giving you a promise. I'm giving you a promise that through your tragedy, a promise that through your hurts, a promise that through your pain, you were designed for my glory. You were designed for my end. Yahweh says, have you heard of my son's tragic end? But yet his tragic end was your new beginning. Word says Christ became poor that I might be rich. Christ, hallelujah, he became guilty that I might be innocent. Yahweh said to me, I've given you a gift, and that gift is going to flourish. Yahweh says, desire me, desire me as I desire you, because who's some kind of a, something, something great awaits you on the horizon. Yahweh says, I call you a yacht. I call you a Jacob. Oh, Jacob who obeyed his mother. But because he obeyed his mother, he never saw his mother alive again. But yet, I kept him. And not only did I keep him, but through his hardships and through his pains, I changed his name to a prince, to a prince who would rule with Elohim. And Yahweh says, you shall rule with me. Yes, Yahweh. You you shall rule with me. Father, right now, I loose the record deal. Father, right now, I loose the record Father, I loose the record Y'all said the same way your father is an artist with the pencil. You will be an artist with the top. Y'all said the same way your father is an artist that a photo with what he paints. Y'all said you will be an artist with what you sing. Father, right now, I loose. Yahweh says, you have greatness upon you because yes. greatness yes. is upon this house. Yes. And Yahweh says, you were baptized when you had to choose sides. You were baptized when you had to choose who your family was. You were baptized when you had to make a choice. Shall I remain in this house? Or shall I become my old man? Yahweh says, I never asked you to become your old man, but I asked you to become my man. You become who I prophesied you to be. Yahweh says, you were prophesied into this house. You were birthed into this house. Yahweh says, you are the promise of this house. And even when you didn't want to be in this house, there was a promise in you, dragging you to this house. Even when you wanted to hate your father, even when you wanted to dislike your father, I did not allow you. In the same way, I'm going to call the blessing to overtake you. Father, right now, I lose this pain. I lose this glory. I lose this. I lose this. Yahweh says, Hollywood's going to come here. Yahweh said, in the name of Joshua, you're going to bring great honor and glory to my name. Yahweh says, you're going to have to bring great finances to my name because I have ordained it. Yahweh says, declare. Declare my glory. Declare my covenants. 
of wondrous works because you are part of it. In Christ Yahshua's name, hold the receiver. Thank you. 